In today's video, I want to make a test of sealing the front window into the envelope of our new tube. Uh, in the last video, I made a graphite holder which uses vacuum to hold the window on the place. So today we will see if it actually works. Just a quick explanation what we are trying to do today. Uh, we want to seal this front window into the rest of the class envelope and make a seal with a torch on this edge. So we will hold both sides in the glass slate and while spinning we will heat this edge and try to seal it all together. The chance to make a successful seal on this large tube is small because I'm here using uh, just the equipment what we have designed for our regular Nixie tube which is a uh, 50 millimeter class diameter but this is not the point the purpose of this test is to find the weak spots in our setup and to know what we need to improve in the farther steps so lesson number one i will need much more powerful torch than i have this little one is just not powerful enough to heat all the perimeter of the glass Another point, this large glass radiates really a lot of heat, so I will need to find a way how to protect my hands against it. So I will either use gloves or I will increase the length of the uh, handles of the tooling and also the torch will need to be longer. The idea was to heat up both sides of the glass so that they fuse together by just surface tension of the molten glass but uh, because I don't have enough power in the torch uh, I need to slow down rotation of the lathe uh, and uh, let the flame concentrate on one spot so that I can fuse it by hand by using this little reamer tool. I think I will need either graphite pedal or maybe a graphite plate mounted in a tooling bar. The way how I am using the reamer tool here is completely wrong. I'm practically burning it away, but I didn't have more options. I needed to form the glass while it is still molten after leaving the flame, so I decided to do it this way. Eventually I made both sides to stick together and uh, here I'm slowing down the lathe by hand so that both sides can heat up to higher temperature and uh, fuse together perfectly. When you are working only on one side of the glass, the other side of the glass is being cooled down and this produces stress in the glass and uh, when you have stress in the glass, it can crack. As I mentioned at the beginning, this was really a quick test with just the equipment we had at the place, so I really didn't expect it to work well. Uh, I now have more glass on the way, so in several days I will do another test and this time I want to use different burner and tools. 